what's up guys max here and welcome back to my dungeon today i have an unusual video for you i had some uh, liters left of liquid nitrogen to spill before recharging so i'd say why not do a liter experiment just to try the ray tracing in world of warcraft and try the amd uh, ryzen 3 3300x at 5 gigahertz or even more with liquid nitrogen so well let's get to it All right, now we have the system at default. Even if I have minus uh, 43 degrees, the system is running at stock. So now, as you can see, we have the boost running at its maximum since we are below zero and the XFR2 enhance uh, the boost capabilities. But uh, now I'm in 4K, so everything is set on high. Here, ray traced shadow. In the graphics setting, I'm at maximum 4K resolution. So in theory, the GPU should be bottlenecked, but in this case, it's not, since uh, the CPU can't keep up and we are at 84%, 89%, and the GPU is at 80%. So we have a bottleneck on the CPU. And I want to do this experiment to overclock uh, the, this Ryzen to 5 gigahertz or even more and to see if uh, we can have uh, a boost in the FPS. So now I'm going to bring down the temperature to minus 100, activate the LN2 profile and try to overclock as fast as I can this CPU. Now I am into the BIOS and uh, I'm going to bring down the temperature to minus 100 to be able to boot at uh, these settings since uh, I'm using 3200 MHz with the C14, but uh, to go full pot, so to reach the maximum negative temperature, I have to push the SOC voltage to 1.575, so it's a lot. And to do that, uh, without risking anything, I'm going to bring down the temperature around minus 100, and then I'm going to boot and uh, start uh, this uh, experiment. So now, as you can see, the temperature is going down very quickly. And once I reach negative 100, more or less, I can safely boot the system and start uh, the test. I am now at 5 gigahertz with uh, negative 122 degrees. And as you can see, we have uh, the CPU, the GPU utilization at 100% with uh, 100 FPS roughly. And yes, no limitation. So yes, the CPU was bottlenecking a uh, 2080 Ti doing RTX, well, a, a bit of RTX since uh, it looks like an HDR effect. Uh, it's not a big deal, but I kind of like it and it's not uh, too heavy on the system. So now we have the, zip, the GPU utilization higher and this is the last uh, liquid nitrogen I have left. So I'm going to try to push a bit more and see if we can play at 5.2, 5.4, let's see. So I'm going to go as maximum as I can. Pretty nice, isn't it? So, 100 FPS, uh, 5 gigahertz. The GPU still has something left uh, to take. So we have 90%, 92%. I'm going to try to push to 5.2 gigahertz. Unfortunately, we cannot reach full pot. That's a pity. Okay, we are at 5.2 gigahertz. The GPU is still not at, at its maximum, but we are approaching 96%. So we have a, a small improvement. We are negative 166 degrees and I'm going to try to push to 5.4 okay so we are at 5.4 gigahertz playing World of Warcraft that uh, is interesting and as you can see we are now at 60 percent of uh, maximum utilization for the single core job 64 but uh, okay this is i think the maximum we can reach since uh, the infinity fabric clock is at uh, 1600 megahertz with the ram at uh, 3200 megahertz because when i go very cold 
I cannot raise the fabric clock too high. And since uh, we have this temperature, I'm going to give a shot at 5.5 gigahertz. And yes, we can play World of Warcraft at 5.5 gigahertz with this Ryzen. And even in 4K, we have a nice FPS. We are in Brawl, so it's kind of cool. I'm going to try to walk a bit uh, around to show you the RTX effect. It's not so noticeable since uh, when you switch from RTX on to RTX off, let's say like this, in reality it's just the shadow with the, with the ray tracing. So it's not the lightning and all the cool stuff with the ray tracing. It's only the, the shadow. But if you look at the, all the shadow reflected, it's a bit more defined, like, as I told you, uh, an HDR effect. If you have a good monitor, it's like with more contrast and it's pleasant. It's not revolutionary, but it's cool. And I think uh, if, we are, if I don't lower the clock, uh, I'm going to crash since the temperature is dropping and we're at 5.5 gigahertz playing games. So yeah, this is it. Retracing on the shadows rising at 5.5 gigahertz playing, playing and crash okay uh, i knew it it would happen all right guys that was fun and i'm going to do more strange things like this in the future and as you know it's like two months that i didn't publish any video i had a couple of months uh, that was really rough my dog passed away i had some problem with my back so uh, now it seems that uh, everything is going to be okay so i'm going to do a lot of content since uh, in the past two months i wasn't able to make uh, proper videos but i didn't stop benchmarking so i have a lot of cpu that i tested all the intel 10 generation uh, the ryzen xt so i have a lot of content to put on this channel so as always i hope that you enjoy this video and subscribe for more because I have a lot more coming and see you in the next one.